Right, this is just a short video to uh, have a look at the, the sewer line installation uh, that was done as per the email uh, I just sent in. Here's the grinder pump installation here. This is where they put the wiring in. That's a big rut that was never filled. I don't know how, how, how visible it's going to be on this video. Uh, we have approximately uh, 200 feet to the street and they, they excavated a swath here that looks like it's 8 or 10 feet wide, but it's all irregular. It's full of chunks of dirt and low spots and there's rocks in it and it was just a crude rough in and they threw, all, they threw straw and seed down on it and now that the grass has grown and we've attempted to mow it, it, we can barely run the tractor over this thing. So we're just going to walk down it. These holes don't show, but this is, this is a big rut here. This is typical of what we've got, just clods of dirt. There's holes all over the place in this thing. Rocks. This is the north side of the property. This is all low here. This, needed, this needs to be filled and raked. You can see here a wheel rut. There's more ruts here. Just chunks of dirt. Or here's a wheel rut that was never filled. They they did a they did a, a tiller on a tractor, just a, a crude thing, and they, they they didn't they didn't fill it and finish it. Now this job is totally unacceptable for a lawn. This would be fine for a ditch alongside the road, but for a lawn, it's no good. It's very out here near the street. It's extremely rough here. This is all irregular. And very bumpy when you run it with the tractor. You have to you have to literally crawl over it with the tractor to cut it. Now we uh, we uh, gave an easement for the one of their main main lines that goes on the south side of the property. We're going to go up to that next and see. It's a similar thing, but there's a, there's an area that's not filled. This area is approximately 15 feet. Probably 15 feet wide approximately, but it's all, it's just, you can see it's lumpy, it's rocks, just, just clumps of dirt. You can't run a tractor over it without damaging the equipment. This needs to be filled with some good topsoil. It needs to be raked out and seeded properly. You can see the whole deal here, I hope. This is essentially what you've got. Just, just this big clods of dirt and rocks and holes is all this is. I think that you're gonna have to have a, a different contractor that's, that's experienced with putting in lawns and finishing things. This excavators are not equipped to do this finishing work. They just have heavy crude equipment and that's all they're gonna use. <clears throat> This whole, this is the whole thing here. This is essentially what it is. It's just, just clumps of, clumps of dirt. <clears throat> but the entire, the entire area is extremely rough. There was a, a access a manhole put here. As you can see, nothing was finished. It's just this big, rough, rough dirt thrown in here. And I did mention to the, the, the gentleman excavator foreman, evidently, that we needed to some fill dirt in here. And he said, yeah, he's going to find some, and I'm going to come back and take care of it. And, and, you know, a day or so later, they were all gone. Equipment's gone. As you can see all this. This area here is extremely low. We, we used to mow this, and if you can, you can see the indentation. If you put a string line across there, it's probably 18 inches low here. It needs to be filled from this area 
all the way across to here. We can't even, we can't run the tractor here anymore. And that's, but that's the situation. So we're going to, we're going to post this on YouTube and link to the email uh, that we sent in regarding this, the situation here. And we're hoping to get it resolved in a, in a timely manner and uh, to our satisfaction.